and a warm welcome to all of you worldwide. We're just waiting for the central characters to make their appearance, and then we will be underway. And here we have Argentina against Brazil. I'm Peter Drury, and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere, and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? I'm going to pick a defender, Thiago Silva. Aguero! Alan. Teller. Plays it out to the wing. It's a good foot in there. Now it's Aguero. Plays it long. It's Aguero! Header! Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Well, his reaction to that was ultra sharp, Peter. His anticipation is in fine working order. And the shot! There's a lot of movement up front. Yeah, I have noticed that those uh, front players are working very hard, dropping deeper. Yeah, and I just think it keeps the opposition off guard with, with so much switching of position. Aguero! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. It's one! And another time! Aimed low and direct. And the counter is on. Looks like a good ball through. They've managed to get it away. Looks to point blank header. Goal! Brazil! And Brazil take the lead. And however many surrounded him, that is what he can do. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Shoots! Oh, surely that deserved better. I think that defence will be feeling mightily relieved now. They were really saved by some poor finishing then. Dybala tries a through ball and that'll go straight through to the keeper Referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time so there you have it a close fought half of football but one that still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal Both a decent game up to now uh, looks a foul yep referee's given it get the direction he needed well plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box obviously increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone Brazil have decided to take control of this second half they're dictating the tempo Hook plays it out to the flank Billia plays it forward looks to slip it through to towering header Well, that's something that will make the manager proud because they dug in deep then and they've got their leveller. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Argentina grabbed the equaliser and we're all square. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. Argentina! And the game is well and truly turned on its head! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Argentina go into the lead. 
It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. David Luiz. Brazil are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Hits one! And he doubles up the chance! Unbelievable. And surely that does it! Perfect time! Decisive strike! That's wonderfully done. Crisp hit, true finish. Well, most of those go high and wide because of their difficulty. He made it look like he does it every day. That is Stuta! And that would have been game, set and match. Well, that ball to have wrapped it up, Peter. He may well regret that, you know. That is a poor kick by the keeper. Been intercepted. Over to the left. Back into the middle. Showing that there will be three minutes of added time. It's a clever pass. That's an out wide now. So that's it. It is all over. Well, somehow they turned it round. Every ounce of energy, emotional, physical, mental, is spent. That is some win. So a warm welcome to you all, we will be on the way very shortly, once all the pleasantries are complete. And here we have Argentina against Colombia. I'm your commentator Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beckley. Thanks for that Peter, hi everyone, the excitement... Big chance! Oh, surely that deserved better. Beautifully worked to take the defence out of the picture, but there'll be no rush to see the replay on this. Tries lifting, and the finish! Has a hit! Marvellous goal! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. That is Stuta! Argentina scoring in the first 10 minutes to make it 1-0. Steered out wide, timely intervention. Carlos Baca. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Big chance! Gorgeous from Tibala! And already they're looking to run away with it. Dybala did well there. He was onto it in a trice. Well, they say all goalkeepers are crazy, and after that, maybe there's some truth in it. Argentina get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal is given. Shoots! and they are disappearing out of sight and as soon as they made that error in midfield they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net very much a lesson learned 
Argentina take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. We sit high. Dybala. Aguero with a long pass out wide. Now he's had a shot. Good effort and it is right on half time. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change over the second half. Peter, do I really need to say anything or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Argentina have established themselves in a position of absolute supremacy. An action-packed 45 minutes and they have raced into a three-goal lead. Shot at goal! Back of the net! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking and the finish was made a lot easier. Argentina tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Tries to get it forward quickly. Aguero with the ball through. Tevez! Oh my word, my word, that is fantastic! He's got himself a peach of a goal! Unbelievable. And still they continue with the onslaughts. It's part of the game, Peter. It has to get ruthless. Sympathy just doesn't play a part. There's going to be another change here. Argentina totally rampant here. He's got away. Now it's Falcao. He's left his man. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. Clip it forward. Uh, he acknowledges that he should. Can he score? Oh, almost a sixth. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? Quick ball forward. Tries a through ball. And out to safety. Out to the flank. He's come loose. Pereja goes looking. Passes it through. Back into the middle. Up for the header! Trying to get there. at his watch and blows his whistle a demolition destruction annihilation they simply ran away with it your final thoughts jim have some very strong runners from midfield and it's not often you'll see it